Hello, my name is Heather Bain and I am the branch coordinator over at the Hatley Branch Library. Today's video is going to be showing you how to make this beautiful ice lantern. Um, it is a easy to make craft that, because it is ice, will need to be outside and can be used on your porches to spruce up that or if the kids have built snow forts and they need some light out there, they can use it there. Once it's completely frozen, you'll see that there's a center here. You get these little electric tea lights and you pop it right in there and you have yourself an ice lantern. So, super simple and easy to make and I've done it in several steps. So that was the completed one. I'm gonna show you what we need to create this. First, you need two different size plastic cups. You can also use tin cans if you don't have plastic cups but you do need one that is bigger than the other so that the smaller one can go inside and make that hole for the tea light to go in. Got that. You'll need some tape to help hold the cup level at the top after you put the water in. Scissors. Some sort of rock or something heavy to help keep the inside cup from floating up. And I'm using clear glass ones. Anything that you can find outside is perfect. Um, I have some leftover twigs from um, our, our tree. So I used these. I also have red and white pom-poms and some glittery um, pipe cleaners. But really, you can use anything that you can find outside. Leaves, tree branches, anything like that. Um, the red berries that you can find in bushes. All right. So first things first is you're going to take the, the bigger of the cups or the cans and put it in front of you. And then you're going to take this littler one. You're going to want three pieces of tape. Okay. And you're going to start by putting them inside in three locations on the small cup. Okay, so you've got your tape here. Next, what you're going to want to do is as close to center in the mm, cup as possible. You're going to then fold the tape over the edges of the bigger cup here. Adjusting when you need to to make sure it's as, as centered as possible. If it's not quite as centered as you want it to be, that's okay. You just need to be able to get these, um, whatever you're putting in the water around the out in between the cups, you need to be able to put them down in between it. So we got that. There we go. That's closer to centered. So you can see, there we go. You got it taped there, it's held there. Okay. And then you're gonna put your rocks or whatever you have down in the bottom. It's gonna help keep it from floating upwards when you put the water into the cup. Next, what you wanna do is whatever you have. So I have these tree boughs, if you have leaves or pom-poms or whatever you have, you can use them. And you're just gonna start putting them around the cup, kinda like this. However you want. There's a lot of space at the bottom, which is okay. It just makes it a little better. Here's a, um, the one I'm gonna show you after, once it's completed too. So you can see there's some pom-poms on the bottom. So it's totally okay if stuff gets underneath. Um, you just wanna put as much as you want inside. Make it as pretty as possible. Okay. Use the scissors if you need to, to kind of push the stuff down and wherever you want it. Okay. Got one more here. We're gonna put that one right here. And it's okay if it sticks up over the top. The completed one here, this pom pom sticking out the top. It's totally okay. And then there's some pipe cleaner sitting out there too. Let's put some red and white pom poms in here. Whatever you want, it does not matter. You're gonna have fun with this. Put them in there. However you want. It's totally up to you. 
whatever you want. And then I also have these pipe cleaners. I'm going to stick a couple of those in there to add a little bit of sparkle. Do some of the green. And you just kind of flop them in there and wherever they land, it's perfectly okay. And use those scissors to kind of push things down wherever you want them to go. Some silver in there as well. Using those scissors to move things, manipulate things when you can't get your fingers down in there. Okay. All right. So we need something on this side, as you can see. So we're just going to put cut off another branch here. Just kind of stick it in there. So you have something on all the sides. There. I've got something in there. There we go. All right. Once you have things where you want them to be, you're going to take water. Now, for the purposes of this, I brought in, I have a watering can here. You can also use this, um, a faucet. But really, you want to be careful. You want to fill it up as high as you can, as close to the top as possible, but where it's not going to spill when you take it to the freezer. So, you just kind of pour it in there. Make sure you try not to get any in the inside cup. I got some water on the outside, and that's okay. There we go. You can see it's filling up. If you want, you can also then use, um, you can add food coloring to the water. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so that's up to the top. You saw the cup raised a little bit. And that's okay. You'll see at the um, when you take it out of the freezer that that cup has even raised a little farther, and that is because you know ice when it freezes expands, so it's got to ice has got to go somewhere. So it's going to push the inner cup up even higher, and you'll see that the ice is kind of going to be humped over the top. Okay. So once you're done with that, you're gonna go put it in the freezer for several hours until it's completely solid and frozen through. I'm gonna put this aside. Okay. And I have, I brought the one out of the freezer that we already had and I put in the freezer already. So we have this one, okay? I haven't done anything yet. There's some rocks in here. You're gonna take those out. And I, this one's been sitting out for a little bit, so we may be, be, may be able to get the cups out pretty easily. If not, what you're going to want to do is you can put some warm water on the inside cup and run some warm water on the outside. That should e make it easier to get the cups off. But let me see. I don't know if you can tell. So you can see there's a little bit of a raise here. That's because the ice had to push the cup up a little bit. All right. So what you want to do is you're going to take that tape that's on here that held it on there off if you're able to. And then we can slowly see if we can get these cups off. You may have to cut them off a little bit. Let's see here. So, oh, there's that one. That one came out. Now let's see if we can get this inner one out. There. It's out. And you have a beautiful ice lantern. Once that's done, you can put your lamp, your little light in there, or you can even just put them out in the snow or on your porch just to add that pop of color that you might want outside for the winter. Um, as long as it's cold enough outside for things to stay frozen, these will stay frozen. Once it starts maybe getting a little too warm, you'll maybe, if you have room, bring them in and put them in your freezer to refreeze them. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you have fun with making these. Thank you for watching.